Hello everyone, I'm Pacific and welcome back to another episode and in this one I'm going to show you how to use OBS to record your stuff. So um, your OBS isn't going to look like this, it's going to look something different uh, and these scenes here aren't going to be here but for this purpose you know I got a couple scenes up but basically what you want to do is after you download OBS you're going to click right click and you're going to click add and it doesn't matter what you name it, it's a scene that's basically just means uh, like a pre setup kind of setting for your OBS. Now, what you want to do next is in your sources right here, which is this box right here, is you're going to right click that and you're going to click add. There's a whole bunch of different things you can add, like text, images, all sorts of stuff. My thing, display, <laughs> but uh, my favorite thing to use is a window capture. And we're just going to create a window capture. Now, I have this right here, and that's my recording apps. I can click anything I want. So let's just say I wanted to record my, my audio recording, Audacity, right? So I click Audacity, don't worry about window class, capture the cursor. So obviously if I'm doing this, I don't want to capture my cursor, but for some stuff I actually do. So I click OK. And now as you can see, it's in a box. This is the exact shape of the window. See, I got it up right here. This is the exact shape of the window. I can bring it up really big so see it almost fits a standard display of the window and that's really important if you want a good YouTube video you want this basically the box you're recording to fill up the entire window so to get this to fit YouTube's standard you know video format without having this black line here I'd actually have to increase the window size to this and if you zoom in a lot you can see that right at the bottom right there it cuts stuff out so I would actually have to take this physical window and make it just a tiny bit wider and then in OBS it might fill up but we're not gonna worry about that right now what we also want to worry about is these two levels right here this is your microphone and if you click on settings I have two different microphones I have my webcam microphone and I have my Yeti I just want to use my Yeti then you have the desktop audio and you want to make sure that if you're using a microphone and a desktop audio that at any point the audio will not drown out your microphone alright so maybe that's fine maybe you have to tone it down 65 decibels if you have to there's an issue but don't worry about that all you want is your desktop audio to be just like that and speakers are default default is usually your speakers if you have multiple speakers you want to make sure it's recording the right speaker but then you have all of your settings now these are general settings snap sensitivity this is all dealt with filling up your video your um, your picture right here then you got stream we're not gonna worry about stream right now your output and this is also with streaming right here recording is an important one so if I browse if you notice it doesn't put it in this PC it actually puts it in my videos folder. So if I record something in OBS, it goes to my video folder. And you want it to go to the folder that you really that you want it to. So you don't have to go hunt for it in your computer. The first time I recorded with OBS, I had to hunt for it through my computer, and it was really annoying. And then, you know, you want your recording format. That's all same as stream. It's what your computer can handle. So if you're streaming and recording, and your computer needs to just have super high quality recording then that's what you can do mp4 file format this format is just whatever you're working with mp4 is the general format of every video setting basically your audio you've got delays push to talks push to mutes all that your sample rates channels stereo or mono all that general audio stuff that if you're a noob you don't really want to mess with video this is important so your base canvas resolution right this is this this is the canvas you want this to be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 all right and what this is going to do is if it's 1980 by 10 if it's 1920 by 1080 it's going to scale it down to 1280 by 720 and if you upload 1280 by 720 to YouTube it's 720p basic HD 
if you record it one step higher, which I believe is this needs to be 2540, something like that, it'll take this 1920 and it'll be the output here. And then you'll upload it to YouTube and it'll be 1080p. But usually if you have a decent computer, you want to keep it toward this 1920 by 1080 and you want this to be 1280 by 720. You want to keep your common FPS values. You always, if your computer can handle it, do 60. If not, chop it down to 30. If you can go in between, if you want it in between 30 and 60, do 45 frames a second. But 60 or 30 is good, or 24.4, basically. And then this is hotkeys, you know, so let's just say you wanted to start, stop streaming hotkey. I don't use hotkeys because I'm really bad at them. This is advanced. This is like your colors, your renderer. I don't see, I don't even know what these do, but we're not worried about what these do. So then if you have everything set up right, you can click start streaming, you can just click start recording, and boom, you have your video recorded. Now, when you're recording, you have to be aware of how much space you have on your computer because you don't want this to stop mid-recording. Also, there's one last thing I want to do. So, is I'm going to add a face cam. So you have this is let's just say that Audacity is the game I'm playing, right? Or you're a gamer, or you're a vlogger or something. And I'm going to click add. I'm going to add a scene. And I'm going to add a video capture device. And it's, I have, I kind of messed this up a little bit. But we're just going to call this the video capture device 2. And it's going to switch to my webcam. And there's my face right there. And it's a little dark. Didn't test this out. Don't worry about it. And configure the video you know this is just your webcam settings you don't want to worry about that what you do want to worry about is you want to have a custom resolution FPS this is important so FPS video format you don't want to mess with but your resolution is important so I can have mine super high look at that it made my computer completely lag but we're not doing that right now that's too sharp I can't record 4k so let's switch it to this. There we go. That's a lot better. I can't record 4K very well, but this is 1920 by 1080. So if I do this, my face cam is this square, right? That's my face cam. But let's say I wanted a square face cam because I, I prefer the square face cams. You want to do something. I usually do this, this resolution. It makes it a little blurrier and it makes it so the image isn't sharp. But now I have a square. So this, this can't obviously fill up the screen all the way. It's got this cut right here. But I can put it wherever I want. I can click this. I can click this. See? this. And if I was recording right now, it would record all this black screen in the background. So that's really it. You know, you want to add the face cam. And if you record the game in your face cam at the same time and your microphone audio, that's a lot of extra tracks that you don't need to have. For me, I record them at separate tracks because that's really how I do it, is I record stuff as separate tracks. I record the audio. Actually, the audio is not a separate track, but my face cam and my video is because I just need it that way. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any OBS tips, go ahead and share them in the comments below. I've used OBS enough to where... If I need to mess with something, I'll mess with it and eventually figure out my, my problem and fix it. So that's how I do it with OBS. But if you guys have better ways of doing stuff, go ahead and share that in the comments below. And really, that's it. So um, I'm on Pacific. See you guys in the next episode of whatever I decide to make.